Whether it is striking, grappling or MMA, combat athletes move at different paces and intensities during a fight targeting different energy systems. The phosphocreatine or alectic energy system fuels near maximal efforts of up to 10 seconds at very high intensities. Two aspects are important for us here. Number one is your peak power. How strong and explosive are you for example with your takedowns or your power punch. The second question is how often can you repeat these near maximal efforts, for example in chain wrestling or striking combinations. The glycolytic or lactic energy system fuels longer high intensity efforts of 10 to 90 seconds. A better lactate threshold means that you can sustain fast paced or high intensity efforts like scrambling or fighting on the fence or in the clinch for longer periods of time before your breathing becomes labored, your muscles fatigue and your movements slow down. The aerobic energy system fuels efforts of more than 90 seconds. It will allow you to sustain slower paced, low intensity activities. It's also responsible for the energy system recovery, so the energy production and lactate clearance to get you ready for the next high intensity bout. It also allows you to lower your heart rate and all of this can either happen as active recovery during the fight or as you are resting in between rounds. If you're after a training program that incorporates all these principles and many more, then hit the link in the video description or in the comment section down below for my Combat Athlete 8 week bodyweight training and nutrition guide. Also make sure to drop a like and comment if this was helpful and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.